Star Wars Legends of the Force Episode 2 Chapter 9 Shifting Shadows Slowly gathering clues, our heroes determined that the voice they were hearing belongs to Darth Krufe, the Sith that Del claims was after the artifact, an artifact with a complicated and dark past. After exhausting all of their other options, the party reluctantly entered the maze. Wandering down dark and twisted passageways, eventually they were assaulted by a creature that seemed to jump out of the very shadows. And for some reason, Darth Krufe suddenly got very upset with them. Time is running out for our brave adventurers. <laughs> I wonder why you should be upset. <laughs> Run away! Thought no one in the party. <laughs> Only the players. Only the players. And I can't find where we are. Ah. Hey, Lexa made a good attempt to run away. Also, all those doors down. There we go, we are right there. Hold on while I try to queue up the music. I feel like we're overlapping previous parts of the maze. What? Well, what based on my crude drawings, it, it kind of looks like this hallway intersects with other hallways in the maze. That's an interesting observation. I like that song. Yeah, that's for something else, though. Darn. Yeah, I was gonna say, that sounds like a good song, but... Uh, Out of place. <laughs> just a little, but that's okay. I gotta be careful with the music, though. Disney is now getting on to me, which is hilarious. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So why does why does audience. this mu why does this music remind me of Lord of the Rings, something elvish? Okay, what's what's this one now? Can you ping the location again? I had to reload the page. That's nice for public. Okay, but the one that was playing for before that. That was episode three. I believe that's Anakin is when Anakin goes crazy. Yeah, but it definitely reminded me of Lord of the Rings. I mean, it has a lot of brass that's kind of similarish. And Aquabella. Okay, so as you guys, are you? Are, I think you're done pinning it, right? You failed last time. It's not pinned. Yeah, no, it's not pinned. Okay, that's what happened. Okay, so as you guys watch, the creature suddenly vanishes again. It's all that coming. Okay, Del. Um, can you remind me where the spikes are again? Yes, the spikes are right down here. Yeah, I'm zooming. They're just anyway. to the right of where Picasso is. Okay, I'm just gonna look at Anna and be like, we should keep moving and deal with it when it comes back out of the shadows. But don't get left behind again. And then I'll start walking back down. Okay, that's where the spikes are, or that's roughly where they are. I am not zoomed that far out. And that's my turn. You are staying on top of Picasso. Um. Also, I think I. Oops, yes. I drew the spikes on the wrong layer so you guys couldn't even see them. <laughs> okay, I now thought you guys they were a bit the higher up than that. Were they? No. Nope. Alan was quite a, hmm? quite a ways back. I had to use my entire turn just to run up to him last time, and I was still in the spikes. I think that's where they were. 
Well, yeah. assuming... Okay, well, that's where they are. Okay, Aeland. Alright, uh, Aeland, uh, when uh, Dell said something, Aeland basically just nodded, and since the critters now decided to go away, uh, I'm going to go ahead and use my turn to dash away. Spaces and I will end my turn there. Okay. Alexa. Uh, Alright, so remind me what we see in front of us again. So, in front of you there, you see a corridor which you guys have previously scouted out and not detected any traps in that part of the corridor. Okay. Um. Then I want to move six spaces ahead just to start with. Okay. Okay, and there's a a, a black line uh, up ahead, but I can see past it. Am I to assume that yeah. it's a door or wall? The, just disregard the, the black line. The black lines that you guys can see through are just remnants of where I, of me drawing that I can't erase. Okay. So that that is like a wall then. That's just no. That's a, a, a continual passageway where you can see you can keep walking forward or you can go up. Yeah, I can see that there's a passageway at the end that goes up. So there's two passages that mm -hmm. go up. There's one yeah. that's up at the corner. So, we're gonna need the Jedi to decide. I kind of have a feeling where to go, but I'm gonna move up here. Well, you have here. more movement to follow your feeling. Yeah, I'm just gonna move here, and then I'm gonna radio ahead that I see two two passages, and I'm standing at the first. And then I'll be okay, there. because. Okay, did the creature go invisible? Yep. Okay, I'm going to eh, try and detect it. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly, the shadows around the entire asteroid just seem like they're collapsing in your field of vision. And it's very dark and you can't see anything. Uh, let's so roll it, the night because. And so it begins. <laughs> Dirk uh, says, don't leave me back here with that thing. I want okay, to in action to when it, when it becomes visible to move object it. Okay. And I'm just going to stay here. Okay. Kalani. Um, I guess I'm moving forward. I can't see much. Okay, what's over here again? It's just a split passage. Yeah, yep. the, the passage that goes forward more, there's another one that goes up. Goes up there. So, don't know where to go. I think I'm just gonna stop here. Okay. John. I'm gonna walk. Okay. My guy's not walking. There he goes. Do you want to do anything else? Um. 
Do we already? There's no traps anywhere anymore in this hallway. Yeah, not in this hallway. Okay, I'm gonna move double pulls. Double twelve. There, I'm done. Okay. Del. He's gonna keep moving. And he's gonna ask because if he can tell the consequences of going choosing the first passageway. I can't see. Uh, there's only one passageway, right? From where my character can see. Yeah, from where you can see. Uh, yeah, but they told but but she radioed back and told him there were two yeah. passageways. So, yeah, yeah, but I just it just doesn't feel like the force would let this work. I don't know. I think it would if you know there's something there you can see far enough into the future that you can get a sense for it. I mean, you're looking into the future anyway. And if you know you're going to have to choose one of two ways, if you choose one in your mind, there's no difference from you standing right there. Well, Alexa also said that she was standing at the entrance of the first one, so you could think about going down the one that Alexa's standing in front of. Okay, I'll do that. I really don't like using one. <laughs> I have to get so many dark side points. You don't have to I take hope a dark you all know what he's going through for you. You don't have to take <laughs> a dark side point. If I'm gonna be useful at all before we get out of here again, then I have to keep taking dark side points because otherwise I'm useless. And what I want to do when we do when we do get on that ship is also gonna be difficult if I take a lot more hits. Alright, that's Del's turn. With my current plans, I'm going to take at least one whole more point, at least. Okay, do you want to roll? Well, it's, it's not, not my. It's not his turn, like, for a couple of Oh, I thought, more okay. Things. Never no, mind. Del was telling him to do that. Okay, Elon. Yeah. Uh, Aelin is going to keep moving. Okay. And that should be about it. Alexa. Man, I was really hoping someone would make a decision before my turn. I mean, you could ready actions for when Paz tells you which way to go. I mean, that's not going to be my first action. I mean, search feelings is a full round of action. Uh huh. Yeah, that's why I don't want to do it when I'm right at the back. <laughs> I'm preparing to ambush this thing and you guys are all running off. What happened to talking about plans? You go ahead and ambush that thing. Look at that. Oh, I have a plan. Honestly, I think if we're gonna ambush it, it would be better if we all grouped up. Anyway. Uh, yeah, I think... I'm gonna hold my action until the creature shows up. And I kind of feel like it's spiraling into the center, but if I go up a couple spaces and then we find out it's the wrong way, I'm gonna have to come back. So yeah, I'm gonna hold my action until the creature shows up. Okay, your action to shoot at it, or attack it, or your action to go up. Yeah, attack. Okay. To, to walk up and attack. Okay. Because. Okay, well, it hasn't showed up yet. So. Uh, well, I can't defend against it a little bit. That's gonna take more than I wanted to go.
<laughs> okay, yeah, I'm gonna do the start, start try feelings about going down one of those paths and take half a dark side point. Okay. Better than 15. Yeah, yeah, but with the. with What's the negative at? Well, you took a dark side point. So oh, so I don't have to take any of the penalty? That's the whole point. Oh, wow. Wait, you don't have to take any of the penalty? I thought you still had your initial penalty that you had the rest of the time. Nope. Oh, so I could just start taking dark side points and have no penalty again? Okay, that's useful. Information to yeah, you know. That, that's, that's the point. That's no, why. I thought, it just, I thought it was like force land, just like. You no. Just, instead of taking one more on your penalty, you just like have some dark side points. Nope. Because the penalty is for resisting the dark side. But if you use it under force light, it is not any harder to resist the force limit. Dark side every time you do it. Wait, what? what? Wait, are you talking about something shiny? What? Okay, anyways. <laughs> <laughs> so, Zarya, you think <laughs> that going down the path that Lexa is standing at would probably be the fastest way. Okay, I won't say it would probably be. It will be the fastest way. <laughs> Do you, you communicate that to everyone? Hey, Zach, are you still there? <laughs> yeah, what? Do Sorry. you tell the others about your intuition? Yes. What was my intuition again? <laughs> that going down the pathway that Alexa is at would be the fastest way. Yep, that's what I told him. Okay. Okay, Kalani, you see Dirk run up to you guys. Okay, what's going on? <laughs> because she <laughs> said that going up north would be the fastest way, right from where you guys are. Okay then. Wondering how far I should go. <laughs> I might go with just the one movement this time. Maybe. Uh, I don't know. And I'm. Con <laughs> it's not helping that I'm distracted and confused by the chat and team speak. <laughs> What are you guys talking about? What? <laughs> I'm so clueless. We're talking about TMNT in chat. Yeah, but I have no idea about any of that. Okay. Teenage Mutant <laughs> Ninja Turtles is... Was really big when Rocky and whatnot came out, so that's why I derailed that way. Okay, Kalani doesn't see any turtles. <laughs> <laughs> You've moved six squares. Oh dear. Yeah, I think you broke me. <laughs> what else do you want to do? <laughs> um. Uh, defensive stance, maybe. 
I don't know. Something like that. I don't feel like fighting ahead okay. too quickly. Okay, you can fight defensively. Also, perception. Okay, uh, you see <coughs> the corridor moves down into darkness and in the little space uh, that you can see, you don't see any like large spikes or anything protruding from the walls. Yeah, very comforting. Okay, John. Okay, I call back to the group behind me. Hey, are we taking that hall or what? And anybody who heard me can answer. Dirk says, yep, get back over here. Anybody who's not you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're taking that way. You think it's Looks like... like... Okay. Okay, so I go back. I'm gonna go down the hallway. Okay, Kalani, what did you see? Up ahead? Uh, hallway? She saw a hallway with no spikes. Okay, I'm gonna take a look myself. Good idea. Also see that. Alright. I'm done I'm gonna stop here. Okay. Okay, because as you could have guessed, suddenly the creature jumps out and attacks you. <laughs> uh reaction. Of course it does. Of course you <laughs> thingy. I don't need the force shield thingy. Well, oh, that's a 26. Well, oh, let me read now. It's only 9 damage. It's my health at. Plus 13 damage. One second. Like... Yeah, yeah, I'll use a force shield. And take the half a force point. Take half a dark side point? Er, yeah, dark side point. Okay, so... Yeah, so you current now, right now you have a shield resistance of 20. So the creature jumps at you out of the darkness, but you quickly get a... Telekinetic barrier around yourself. Okay, Del. All right, well, I'm looking the other way, and Picasso didn't say anything, so I have no idea he's under attack. So I'm gonna keep moving forward. And he'll bring you back. Hey, Picasso, are you coming? As soon as this creature's dead. Dead show up again. Don't worry, it'll soon be on spikes. <laughs> okay, that's Elon. one way to deal with it. I mean, I figured that's what he meant when he said he had a plan. <laughs> Seems like a decent plan. Okay, uh, in that case, since 
Elander overheard the conversation. He's still going to keep going forward, um, but uh, he's going to radio back. Um, All right, lad, but catch up as soon as you can. We need to stick together a bit more. That'll be about as far as he goes. Okay, Alexa. 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 Alright, so I use my full movement. Can I roll perception? Yeah. You see the slight twist in the corridor, and then it looks like it continues on. Okay, kind of what I expected. Uh, that's it. Okay. Did you roll the right thing? Oh, oh that was yeah. Persuasion. Oh no, never mind. You tried to persuade the shadows? <laughs> They're right next to each other. They... I was wondering why that was a four. I was like. What did she persuade the shadows to do? Let's let's go with that. <laughs> uh, keep the persuade. Keep the persuade. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. I was actually <laughs> trying to persuade them <laughs> to not jump out at me. Uh, why don't you just take the first roll and then add the actual add one? Yeah, add the perception bonuses to it instead. Okay. So that would be a 17 instead of a 14. Doesn't matter. Alexa doesn't see things, guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I beat yeah. the sword and break open doors. That's, that you I still see the same thing. Which is funny considering the dark vision. I yes. know. Oh, oh, wait, we said that it was going to give you a plus three. Yeah. Oh, so what were you guys saying? That's actually a, 15, a 17 plus yeah, three? Yeah, that would be a 20. Oh, 20? Okay, well, in that case, you see that. <laughs> <laughs> right around the corner here. Uh, there's an, what looks to be a slight, like, outline in the floor that looks like it might be another disguised pit. Oh, that's great, because I don't want to follow those again. Okay. <laughs> I radio back. There's, there's a pit, like the one I fell into, coming up. Yay. Don't fall into what? this one again. Did you move up past us to the north? I didn't see you move up. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. I, I can run really far and, and see really far. <laughs> you guys, like, almost are never out of my vision. It's pretty, yeah. So it's my turn? Yeah. Oh, we all know what's coming next. And half a dark side point. I mean, I can pick it up, but... <laughs> what came next? If you just pull yeah. it behind us. <laughs> huh? I mean, I can do that. I can pick it up and walk it with Well, it has me. to be above its reflex defense in order to grab it. Oh, that's true. Which it is not. Yeah. I need to get all the way back. Up. I don't know. I'm not asking. You. <laughs> I know you won't tell me. Yes, yes, it did. As far as I know. Hmm. Which would be 30. What are you thinking about? Uh, yeah, he does this thing where he puts the monsters up and throws them or just holds them and he's trying to do that here. What, what if you rip one of the spikes out of the wall and shove it into its face? Well, I mean, I basically declared that this was going to be done on that and I failed, so... I agree. Uh, and even we, if you wanted to do that, he'd still have to roll higher than its reflex defense. Otherwise it just dodged the spike. So do you want to spend a force point? 
I don't think a force point is going to help. Even if I roll a six. But I. That's what I'm thinking about, though, whether or not that will help. Or whether or not I should even try it. Nah, I have a force shield. I'll just wait here. Well, I am seemingly ineffectual against it, and it hopefully won't run away again. Well, uh, you have to maintain the force shield as a standard action. Ah, that's true. Hmm. So, you can't do that. This running away and recovering somehow thing with the rage is really annoying. <laughs> okay, well, hmm. What do you guys think? Should I use a force point to try? I think you should try to escape with us. Eventually we're going to come to a, a corner point where we're all going to stop. And I think that's probably when we're going to have to take care of the creature. Yeah, which is why I want to try and take care of it here. It's pretty obviously trying to slow us down. It is, yeah. This is a skirmishing tactic. This is what I used to do. Okay, I'm going to use the movement I have to move away from it. Okay, you can make it with draw action and move up to half your speed, or you can move the full speed and let it make an attack of opportunity against you. Hmm. I'll move half speed. Okay. I'll retreat while trying to do this to it. Maybe next turn I'll succeed. Okay. Yeah, so when you reach out in the force, you aren't quite able to get a grasp on it. So you quickly retreat. past all of you guys looking anxious not to be left in the rear. <laughs> Kalani! So where's the pit? Right where the hallway turns. Yay. So it's the, the section right here. Yep. That's all your movement. Okay. John. Uh, I'm gonna keep moving up. Okay, that X is the pit. Yep. Do you render anything else? Um, I'm gonna... I don't know, I want to examine the, the, the pit, or see if there's a way to... Uh, what, can we, do, what, do we just jump over it? How do we get by it, you guys? 
I was planning on jumping. Which is just a, a jump roll? It's a skill, yeah. yeah. And then once, I was hoping that once I was across, I could help other people get across. So, I mean, how does it, would you, would you just do a, I'm, so, I'm sorry, I don't mean to derail the, the role plan, but it's kind of like a diagonal move or like a, a over and then up move. Mm -hmm. How's that work for jumping? What well, didn't we mean? just like step across the last bit, like around the corner, because the two corners kind of line up against each other? I think we just walked over the last one. Ah, I know what I'll do. I know what I'll do. I'm going to roll perception to try to see if the squares immediately north, the, the, the floor immediately north of the pit is safe to stand in. Okay. Yeah, those squares up to the north look stable. You don't see any strange marks that would indicate that they're trapped or in any way. Okay. Um, I say to everybody, it looks like the other side of the pit's safe. And that's going to be the end of my turn. Okay. Okay, because the creature comes up to you and swipes its claws at you. For a second, I thought that perception was the attack roll out. Not quite. Um. Are we? Oh. Well, so we're not we're not doing the crit damage thing anymore, right? No, we're not. It just gets another bonus effect instead of crit. Wait, what? I'm thinking. Hmm. What are you talking about? Huh? Yeah, I decided that enemies can't do critical damage. They don't double their damage on crit rolls. I was inspired by this other system that I was reading. So instead, when enemies get a crit, they get some sort of beneficial effect or the debuff on the person they're attacking instead of dealing double damage. Okay, I'm okay. gonna use, use a force point so I can use force shield again. Okay. Okay, so it charges at you and you're sort of caught off guard and you're completely unable to dodge in time. But instead, you manage to create a shimmering energy field right before its claw strikes your skin and it deflects it. And the creature sees you and snarls at that. Okay, Del. I have a question. Wouldn't some of the damage get through a shield rating of 20? Next is only doing 15 damage. Oh, yeah. Plus 3 or 4, so that would be less than 20. Okay, that's good for me. <laughs> Actually, I added in the plus 4 buffs to the attack and damage that time. I added it, so you don't have to do that anymore. So it was just straight 15, but anyways. Darn, this is as far as I can make it so sad. Standing in my way. Okay, Elon. Okay, I'll stand I'll stand here instead. I'll make you happy, there you go. Yes, thank <laughs> you. Elon <laughs> will uh Was that in character? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what was that? I was distracted. Alexa was basically just telling Del not to get in her way. <laughs> Ellen, Ellen. Ellen. Yeah, Ellen will uh, chime in over comms. Are you alright back there, Pakaz? You haven't caught up yet. Yeah, having a bit more difficulty than I thought. That thing is at full strength again somehow. Oh, great. Are you gonna need help? Well, I don't know how many more hits it. it's gonna take to take it down. And 
I don't know how far away you guys are. Uh, we're just down the hole a little bit. Uh, barred by, I believe it's a trap up ahead, but nobody's made the jump yet. Um, if you would like, I can swing back and, and get you. Might be helpful. Of course, we should, it'd be a good idea to drop this thing here where I can impale it on spikes. Alan's going to take a few steps back to the wall, assuming I can find the wall. Oh, there we go. And then he'll stop there. Okay. Alexa. Okay. I'm gonna try and jump there. Okay. Roll jump. <laughs> you easily sail across the the booby trapped area and land safely on the other side. Okay. Then I wanna take my sword and just tap the trap so that the what it'll collapse. That way everyone can see it. Yeah, as soon as the tip of your sword touches it, the, it falls away. And it leaves a ten by ten hole in the ground. Okay. Because Well time to try again. And I'm gonna have to sacrifice a force point for this too. Okay. Okay, now this could succeed if I use a force point. You can only spend one force point per turn. Ah, that's true. Well, this is problematic. Okay, so oh, try to grab it again in the force, and are unable to find Purchase. I guess I'll just move back half my speed. So Dirk runs up and says, okay guys, what what are we doing? Are we just going to walk across here? Yes, Dirk, just walk across. Although I'm in the other hall and he can't hear me. It's like, well you should be able to just step where the, the corners of the, the turn meet and just go right across. You, you can see that there's a giant hole in front of you, right? <laughs> yep, I can see that, John. I don't know, I'm sorry, you confused me just, the way you asked yeah. if we just walk across. No, no just cross in the corner. Okay, so he says, hey Lexa, could you help me out? And he reaches out his hand to you and starts squeezing around the corner. Yeah, I'll take his arm and just like swing him around, because I'm strong enough I could do that. Mm -hmm. So you swing him around to the side, he says, thank you. Anytime. Clowny. Don't. So how are we getting over this now? Yeah. Jumping has worked for everybody so far, but you could try to just maybe step across. Yeah, some more like that sounds good.
Okay, so Kalani is doing what? Being very confused by the team speak chat. Kalani cannot see the team speak <laughs> chat. Um, well, is this true? <laughs> uh, trying to get over the, the gap. According to my records, Picasso has eight and a half dark side points. Your wisdom's really high, yeah. I, oh, I have seven and a half. I mean, based on what was written, what was in my character sheet. You kind of need to watch your wisdom there. Yeah, um... That's getting worrisome. Kalani, are you gonna step over? Yeah. Okay. Do I need to help her? Do you want Lexus help, Kalani, or do you try to make it across by yourself? Uh, help is good. Okay. I have to put away one of my lightsabers, though. <laughs> For a moment. Yeah, please do. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, when going over a giant pit, it'd probably be good to take away both your lightsabers, but... <laughs> yeah, I guess. Oh, don't worry, it's just on for a second. <laughs> oh, I didn't mean to cut your arm off. <laughs> Okay, so Kalani, you quickly put away your lightsabers, and Alexa helps you get across the other side. John. Okay, uh, I'm gonna step up... What the? That was the wrong button. Step up to the edge of the hole, <clears throat> and uh, I'm gonna holster my blaster pistol. And, um... It doesn't look like there's anywhere for me to go. Do I just kind of move through them to the next available? Yeah. Okay. It's Chevy behind me. Okay, so do I just kind of step across this little gap, or do I need to roll jump? How's this work? Yeah, if you want to try to crawl around the side and just step over there with Alexa's help. You don't okay, have to roll um, anything. I, I say, Alexa, I'm going to just try to step across this. Can, can you give me your hand? I do. Okay, and I just kind of pull against her hand and, and, and kind of hop across this little gap. Okay. And I land here? Is that okay? Mm-hmm. Okay, do I have enough actions to dr draw my blaster again? Yeah, I think. After that, okay, then I'll draw my blaster and say thanks. Yeah, Kalani, you can pull out your lightsabers again if you want to. Yeah. Okay. And it'll be my turn. Okay, the creature runs up to you again because and attacks. Yeah, I'll take the damage this time. It's not a nat 20. <laughs> So it seems like every time you draw away from the creature, it keeps running back at you. And it's relentlessly slashing with its claws. Del. Yeah, it's gonna go, go across. Lexus, oh. There's not a lot more room right here. Should I have moved up one more? No, I'm good. I can move that far. So what what actions does that take away from me? A move action? Oh, it just takes my move action. Sweet. I'm gonna, I'm gonna perception the rest of this corridor right there. You see the typical black rock structure of the rest of the asteroid just continuing straight into the darkness. 
He's gonna radio back. Like, Guys, we don't have time for this. You need to get back over here. Darth Groove is gonna make it back to his ship before we do it this rate. Elon. Uh, Elon is gonna keep moving forward. Gonna see if he can't get Picaz free from this thing. Uh, he'll radio back over comms as well. And let everybody know. Almost at uh, Picaz's position. I'll be. Dealing, uh, dealing with him, uh, getting him to escape, and we should be there momentarily. And then he will shoot, since that was only six spots, and yeah. Okay. That will miss. Can I, can I answer, Elon? Force point. Yeah. So I, I, I call him back on the radio and say, well, what do you want us to do? Keep moving? Well, we're going to gonna need help. Channel, we're going to need help getting over the, over the trap, but after that, we'll keep moving. So we just wait here? No. The rest of you go. I'll stay. So we're going to split this party into three groups of people. It'll be two and then one, quickly. You're the boss, boss. Okay, Alexa. Okay, uh, I magnetize my boots. I put my sword on the ground next to me within arm's reach, and then I just kind of get low and brace against the wall, waiting for them. Okay. Because. Okay. I'm going to disengage and then use all of my movement actions to get as far away as possible. And use my standard action to dash as well. Okay, that'll get you over here. And yell, and I will yell, run for it, as I do so. Dirk will move up a couple steps and say, so we're gonna keep on going. Yeah, just check for traps as you go. Well, I don't see any traps. Just, just hold on a second. <laughs> it's probably fine. Oh, goody. <laughs> what are the chances <laughs> there would be more traps after the ones we've already passed? I'd say hi. I'm very hi. <laughs> Come on. Um, she turned out a team speak. Oh yeah. <laughs> so probably move up. Um, but she's still in the roll twenty. Maybe we should try and like message her in the roll twenty. Couldn't hurt, but it does take a second for you to get forced out of roll twenty if you just if you lose connection. Yeah, yeah, I know. Something takes her over, and she's compelled to move forward. Yep. I was going to roll for perception track. for her. Yeah, because she definitely would do that. She does not see any traps either. Oh, but that's a good one. Okay, John. Uh, I'm gonna move forward.
And then uh, I guess I'll I'll roll perception again just to check in front of us for traps. Wait, uh, I moved twelve. I don't. Can I do a perception? Do I have enough action? Yeah, is perception it is a swift. Okay. No, you don't see any traps either. I don't see any more traps ahead of us, but I was squinting for some reason. I don't really know why. So. <laughs> just just keep that in mind as you move forward, everyone. I've got dust in my eye or something, I don't know. Okay, the creature runs forward and it swipes at you, Aland. Yeah, that's one of the few times he can't hit me. Oh, hello there again. Oh, hello there again there, pretty one. Okay, Dell. He's gonna keep going forward. Y'all have such interesting priorities. Do you want to see any traps? Nope. Okay, Aland. User entered your channel. Welcome back. Uh, again? Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Before you were being attacked, now you get to attack back. Okay, well, in that case, I'm going to make a withdrawal action and move back three spaces. And then use my... Yeah, I'm going to so use my what did I miss? action to move again. What's going on? Colony died, unfortunately. You guys I'm, I'm moved sorry. further up the corridor and no one saw any traps. Oh, no, that, but, but that you rolled a, But you rolled a 26 yeah. on perception and I rolled a 20 and we still haven't seen any traps, so... And then the creature ran past both of us and just brutally killed Colony. <laughs> no, a second creature came out of the corridor up top yeah. and killed you. <laughs> in in fact, Kalani was, Kalani was actually eaten. <laughs> okay, uh. Lexa. Yeah, that was a bad scene. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> Stupid surge protector. <laughs> no, not surge protector. Um, circuit breaker. Blark. Uh, I'm gonna stay here and hold my action to help them across as soon as they arrive. Okay. Because... I'm not gonna run. Full speed ahead. So, uh... Could you move me, like... Nine more spaces. Yeah, I think that would be about there. Thanks. I can sort of see you. Dirk says, Yep, it's all clear up here. Let's keep going quickly. Kalani.
Kalani. <laughs> Take your turn first, Kalani, before I say anything. Take your turn first. <laughs> okay, where am I? Okay, one movement. Is Zariana ahead? Uh... No, she's waiting to help the other two across. Oh. Um. Okay, another movement, I guess. And perception. I'm not sure which order. <laughs> Should I? Uh... Well, I mean, Derek said the way was clear. Okay. And you rolled oh, sure. Funny. Now you believe him. <laughs> last he time rolled I didn't an sound as sure. <laughs> I didn't say I did? didn't believe him last time, but I was like rolling perception the whole time anyway. <laughs> Kalani agrees that there are no traps. <laughs> There's also no floor. <laughs> or <bathroom. laughs> She's just running. It's... She can't even see the glow of her lightsabers. <laughs> okay, John. What? <laughs> oh, it's my turn. Okay, I'll I'll walk some more and also look for traps again. You agree with Dirk that there are no traps that you can see. The coast is clear. Toast is toast. Okay, Alan, the creature charges out of the darkness of the corridor behind you and attacks. Hey guys, I don't want, I don't mean to interrupt, but are any of you guys using two monitors for this? Yeah. Yeah. No, but I thought about it. If I, I had a monitor, monitor, I would. I need money first, though. Two monitors are nice. There we go. The game, the game in one, team speak in the other. Yeah, I'm thinking also, about I can have it. the. Uh, well, I have TeamSpeak and the character sheet up in the other one. I need a thing to plug my HDMI cable into because my, my other monitor's only got two DVI ins. Mm. Mm. Hey, Alan, do you know next session? That, the, that the creature is like growling and it's staring directly into your eyes and it's very menacing looking? Cool. Ellen <laughs> is just kind of returning his glare, kind of giving it the usual smirk. Wink at him. Oh, the lizard man wants attention. Okay, that's yeah. lonely. How's it going back there, guys? I'm trying to figure out how he got to me and hit me, but okay. I can see because they're almost here. The, uh, the lizard creature's giving me a little bit of issues. I'll be there as soon as I can. Okay, Aland. Well, should he have been able to attack me earlier? 
Cause yep. Okay, cause I was just I'm just trying to figure out. He must have a speed more uh, more than of more than six or something. Then uh, I'll use my withdraw action and use my uh, actual action to move. One, two, three. Perception, just what's going on around me. I'm going to run as far as I can. Okay, do you want to have Lexa help you across? Probably a good idea. Pick you up okay, so because yeah. comes running at you at like a dead sprint and reaches out his hand at you easily, like swim, swing him across. He keeps moving. <laughs> down. Nah, the problem. Okay. Dirk says, guys, do you think we could uh, get out of this maze anytime soon? That's why we're moving forward. We're Dirk. right behind you. What do you think we're trying to do? Come on. <laughs> um, you just keep looking for traps. Shut yours. See any traps? Okay. You can also tell that the corridor moved to the right up ahead based on the echoes of your footsteps. John. Um, I'm I'm sorry, I keep breaking the flow of the game, but I want to ask a question about the withdrawal action. It's a move action. I'm looking at it in the rules. So you can move at half speed away from melee combat without without provoking an attack of opportunity. Mm -hmm. Can you then also use your standard action to move a full six like yep. full speed? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, so like for example, if somebody's hitting me with a sword, I could move away. I could use withdrawal and move a maximum of nine. Yep. Okay. Yeah, as long as the very first step, step gets you out of their range, then then you can do that. Okay. I just heard Elon say he was going to use that, and I, was, I, I, had, I don't recall that being used yet, or I was just curious. It's not really relevant to my situation. I'm just trying to fill in gaps in my knowledge of this. Um, anyways, I'm going to just keep on doing. I'm going to move up and then look for threats. 